Alright, welcome back guys to the last couple of videos that I'll be doing on Battlefield 1 campaign. So the last one I'm doing is Nothing Is Written Story 5 and this shouldn't take me too long. I think it'll take me like two videos. They might be quite long, I'm not too sure. But the runner, the last story were really good. And uh, yeah, let's move on to the last one. Maybe in the second video after this. I might show the Rememberers as well, or that could, I don't know how long that'll be. Depending on how long it'll be, I could either put it in the second one, or I could have that in a separate video, I'm not too sure, but yeah, let's go. In the deserts of Arabia, an insurgency war was raging years before I got to France. Tribes of Bedouins had united to fight a war that was very different from the one we fought in the trenches. Using small mobile units, they challenged the might of an empire and they were rallied around the ideas of a single, influential warrior. Ideas of freedom and change. Alright. So join Lawrence of Arabia in his desert campaign. Alright, let's go. The last chapter. Spring 1918, the Great War engulfs the globe. In the deserts of the Middle East, Arab tribes rebel against their historical oppressor, the Ottoman Empire. T.E. Lawrence, an unconventional British officer, works with a small force of highly mobile rebels. They cannot fr confront the Ottoman forces head on. Instead, they must fight. Right, let's do this. So, I can't believe we've almost got to the end of the campaign already. This one's really good as well in the desert. The Arabian desert. A vast ocean of drifting sands and scorched, sun-baked rocks. Beneath these endless dunes, oil, the lifeblood of our new mechanical century. For more than 400 years, the Ottoman Empire has ruled these lands, controlling all that's to be found here. But the Ottomans do not rule unopposed. Small bands of Bedouin rebels have united to overthrow the empire. They strike without warning and then vanish into the desert. Fighting alongside them is a lone British officer whose exploits have earned him wide renown. The world has taken to calling this man Lawrence of Arabia. Nothing is written. That's a good start. You rely on good planning, but you also hope for a dash of luck. And luck was with us when we learned of a recently derailed Ottoman train carrying a most interesting piece of cargo. Alright. So use the binoculars to spot the enemies. A small patrol had joined the Ottomans who survived the crash. Together, they guarded the wreckage and waited for reinforcements. God, there's a lot, Jesus Christ. Alright, I'm ready. Alright. A lone fighter has just one advantage over a large enemy force. A lone fighter can move unseen. Goodbye. The tribesmen fought unconventionally, using weapons they knew well. Endurance. Right, there should be weapons here. Yeah. Courage. <gasps> Shit. Go over there. Over there. Go on. Go. Good 
Goodbye. Right, so there should be weapons here. Yes, nice. Oh, this is beautiful, that weapon. I remember this weapon. Alright, we're just gonna go straight in. Got them all? No way. I'm pretty sure they're one over here. Did we actually just get them all? Oh my god, we did. Get that back quick. Our enemies. Well, you did not think we would be fast enough to catch you here, did you? Lawrence of Arabia. Oh! Actually, I was rather depending on it. Eh, Lawrence? Ah. Well, this is very clever. Now the hunter becomes the hunted. So who might you be? How enchanting you are, my dear. <laughs> Achmed. I'll show you enchanting. If it weren't for you, I'd be free. Free, is it? You'll be free when you're dead. And I'm happy to tell you, the Empire intends to grant you all this freedom very soon. Even now, an engine of destruction scours this desert, obliterating your allies. Your families, your homes. Soon there will be nowhere to run. Nowhere to hide. Soon all that you know, and all that you love, will be ashes. You will all be free to die. Oh, oh Jesus. Strip the flesh from that man's feet and send him off into the desert naked to die. But think about it. You're right. I'm sorry. My friend here, she can be a little brusque. You're going to tell me how to lie to your train so we can lure it into a trap and destroy it. Impossible. To even begin to talk to that train. You would need an entire book of communication codes. Oh, like this one, you mean? You can never stop the progress of machines! One day, the whole world will take your lands and the precious black gold beneath its sands! We shall see, my friend. All right. Of course, obtaining the code book was not enough. To destroy this iron dragon, this Canavar, as the Ottomans have named it, we had to send it three encrypted messages telling it to stand down. There were Ottoman outposts scattered along the railroad tracks. The commanders there carried high priority message capsules. We had to use those to send our orders. Infiltrating the village wouldn't be easy. A full detachment of Ottoman soldiers had occupied it. The Ottomans had chosen an isolated location for their desert outpost. It seemed lightly defended. It was also well stocked with arms and equipment. The ancient ruins were all that remained of a civilization now lost to time. The 
Ottoman Empire brought in the modern world with a host of armored vehicles and field guns. Three commanders to eliminate, three personal message capsules to be stolen, and then sent with our false orders. How Zara tackled this dangerous and audacious mission was up to her. Alright, we got three places to go to then. So recon any of the Ottoman strongholds, alright. We'll go to um the Bedouin treasured their horses. We'll go to the far right first and in then. Return, those animals granted their riders unparalleled speed and mobility. Let's go to the far right. Alright, we've got weapons in here. What's this weapon? Honestly, I might just keep this one. I might just keep both of these. I don't know. Actually, yeah, I'll take that one. What else we got? What's this one? It's just the same as that one, I care. Okie dokie, let's go. Oh no. Can I actually drive that? No, I can't. Oh shit, this one inside it. How the hell do we get rid of this? How do we destroy that? So there's another horse there. New objective, eliminate the commander. Well, right, let's do it. I can't say. As if there's a flamethrower guy in here. Oh my god. Are you jerking me? Let's go again. We need to get the commander. I've just got another weapon which looks quite good. This MG. Right, I need to get high. High advantage. How do I get upstairs? I can barely see in here. I don't even know how to get upstairs. Nice. 
Could do with a better weapon. Oh shit. Nice. Leave me alone. Sniper shit. Why does it have to be so dark? Is that someone? No, that's not. I can't see anybody. Oh, this looks like a good gun. Yes, we got him. Right, we need to get. Oh, I need. Oh, uh, satchel. Okay. Here we go. Alright, that's the first one done. Oh, we need to go and do this as well. Interact. Oh, uh, uh, it's the messenger bird. Fake message. Alright, nice. Right, next objective, let's go. A single go. order wouldn't be enough. Ottoman protocol required the message to be received in triple before the train would acknowledge it as genuine. Right. We're gonna go straight ahead. So now there's weapons here, let me have a look if there's any better weapons. I think I've already been in this one actually. I'm pretty sure I have. Yeah, I have. Um, no, it doesn't matter about any weapons then. Right, we're gonna go straight ahead. Yeah. Right, here it is. It's very dark though, that's like the problem. Let me see if there's any better weapons. Because this one I need more ammo for. Oh, I don't want a sniper, that's the thing. Hmm. Now. Dynamite. Right, let's go. Nice. Oh shit. Oh my god.
Oh, that's the owl. They're gonna send a messing right, alarm. Get rid of that. I don't know, kill him. Oh yes, we got it. Right, we got the second one. We just need to go and do the third one now, the last one. Dispatch. Oh no, we need to, we need to do the message, don't we? Let's do the fake message. There we go. We were putting a great deal of trust in Zara's capabilities. But I had complete confidence that she would carry the day. Alright, the last one. Recon the final Ottoman stronghold. And I think that'll be the last thing we do before ending this video. Here we go. Need new weapons or armor. Oh, we killed him! Get out of it. Shit. I've only got a pistol, I can't get him with that. Right. Oh, there's a tank. I need to get a new weapon. Oh my god. This is crazy. All I need to do is get that satchel charged. That satchel on me. Oh my god, this blew it all up. Jesus Christ. I just need to go here. Go, 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 go. And the fake, I need to get to the, the bird as well. Oh shit. Oh, they're not dead. Oh. Go, go, go. Oh, it's a cutscene, sir. They won't kill me. Oh shit.
Ah, they're dragging me somewhere. You see, the message had already been sent, my dear. No, not the message you would have wanted. El Orans was such a good host. It almost seemed rude to escape. I made sure to note the location of Lawrence's camp, of course. Which means... The train knows too. Twice. You told that train everything was clear. But... I told it exactly where to attack. The beast has your scent, my dear. And it's coming to slaughter you and your little band of rebels. First, the firestorm from the cannon. Then, up close with the troops to slaughter any survivors. The legend of Lawrence of Arabia dies tonight. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Just in time. Till Kitchy was a fool to think we'd ever stay after he escaped. The kind of won't this is alive. No, it won't. Let me think. The train's coming a long way. So it'll have to stop to take on water. That's where we strike. Agreed. I'll deal with any sentries then. Rig explosives on the track. Yes, and I'll rally our fighters. When I blow the lines, the, the train will be trapped. So when you hear the blast, you need to attack them with everything you have. It's good. But you know that there's a chance the men may not come. You may set off those explosives and find you're out there all alone. You know that. I guess I won't know either way until I set it off. Yes, no. This is going to be very risky, but it might just work. Man makes plans and God laughs. As it turned out, the small town where we would ambush the train had a significant enemy presence. Those troops would have to be dealt with before the explosives could be set. 